I love the Doctor Who remakes. Tenth Doctor is best, best Doctor. Oh, yes. Tyler in here? Is Tyler in here? Because if he's in here, he's going to start yelling about the Eleventh Doctor, who did a great job. He did a great job. But he's not the Tenth. Tenth Doctor. Oh, yes. Doctor Who looks dope, but my God, there's a lot to get. Yeah, you, um, yes and no. So, Red, if you started with the, uh, the, like, the 2005 remake, I think it's probably on Netflix or whatever, my, man, um, with the ninth Doctor, you can start there and you won't really miss anything, per se. They designed it in such a way, like, they set the show up in such a way that you're not going to miss anything. Same with Star Trek. Oh, man. I... <laughs> The last time, I got on a tangent, right? Because for whatever reason I had in my head, I wanted to watch Voyager. So I watched all of Voyager. And then since I watched all of Voyager, I got a hankering for good old Jean-Luc. So then I had to watch TNG. And then after I did that, I was like, man, I haven't seen DS9 since, since it was like in, like bef before it got syndicated. So I might as well watch all that again. And then I ended up watching all the movies. Oh, it was this whole thing. Like I watched nothing but Star Trek for like a month, something like that. I don't know, something like that. Ben Sisko, Ben Sisko didn't even have a ship. He didn't even have a ship. What the hell are you talking about, best captain? He didn't even have a ship. Yeah, the Defiant. You know, it's a tough little ship, I guess. Little. But like, I, I don't know. My problem with DS9 is it wasn't Star Trek. It wasn't about a Star Trek. It wasn't a traveling through the stars. Thing. You know what I mean? So, anyway. Oh, I forgot. I, I even watched um, Enterprise. I started watching Discovery, but honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that the Klingons are all weird. I don't like that. I, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it. And everything's like a f bizarro land. Like the whole universe is in bizarro land somehow. Little. <laughs> I mean, my favorite thing about that show was uh, Quark. That guy was awesome. Just loved that dude. He was always in trouble. And what's, what's the Odo? Odo. Odo was wicked. I love that guy. Yeah, but he won the war because he got turned into a magic... demigod or whatever. I don't know, man. I feel like the later seasons of that, they sort of lost the where they were going, but... Yeah, I never... I didn't get the whole, like, uh, Oracle... Oh, man. That got old. Anyway. Anyway, it's still a fun show. Still a good show, but I wouldn't call him the best captain. I love that he had like this, uh, this, um, like history with Picard because, uh, when Picard was Locutus, um, Cisco was one of the captains at Wolf 359. So that's, that's pretty cool. Really? Yes, he did punch Q. That's true. I, that was one of my favorite scenes, actually. Picard never hit me. <laughs> uh, that's great. I heard of Lower Decks. I heard of that. Yeah, I never got around to seeing it, though. It's really good. I'm, I'm looking... like, I remember looking for it once, but it wasn't on any of my current streaming services at that time, and then I sort of forgot that it existed. I love Star Trek Picard. What I really hate is it's only on Crave right now, and I don't have Crave, and that pisses me off. But... All right, we got a good long while before we're going to be taking a shot, unfortunately, because, uh, you know... You know, it is what it is. One thing being what it is. But we're having a fun conversation about Star Trek and stuff, so there's that. Tacos, says Downtown Clown. What's up, my guy? Tacos. Just get tacos. Do you know, um, the plan was we were gonna, I was going to make tacos tonight. But since I was streaming anyway, the wife was like, I'm going to take the boys out. And I was like, that's a great idea. You should take the boys out somewhere, do something fun, maybe go shopping, whatever, and I'll get some streaming in. So instead of making tacos, I just heated up some leftovers, and that was it. But tomorrow, tomorrow there shall be tacos. Tacos on a Friday. What's that? Um, I love that. It's like a TikTok, I think. Uh, white people taco night. We're getting hamburger from the grocery store and taco shells from the grocery store and lettuce from the grocery store. Uh, anyway, you get the point. I just, it's super fun. We're going to follow the torpedo. Hello, cutie. Off to do the devil's work. Ah, there it is. Thank you. 
Thanks, Red. Damn it! <laughs> this is what I get. This is what I get for trying to entertain you people. This is what I get. <laughs> this is what I get. It's all fun and games till you remember you're being recorded. That's... you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, actually, I just used the clip function on YouTube for the first time. Turns out people can just make clips of, of any YouTube video between five and however many seconds, I think. And you can just share it wherever you want. So that's actually pretty awesome. I'm hoping it gets me a little more traction. Oh, dear. This is... Mm, I mean, it's going to hit, but it's a lot farther back than I thought. I thought we'd hit up here somewhere. Anyway. Long and short is... Boom skis. Hello, Dolly. Hello, do oh, knocked a mask clean off. Look at that. Look at that. The Empire Lotus, for anybody who's, who's wondering. Uh, yes, and uh, Valentine is our resident historian. Um, if you are a member of my personal Discord, the Salt Mines, you can find information about real-world ships uh, that, I, that I encounter during these streams uh, in the museum. It's one of the channels in there. Uh, so, if you're not a member, please go ahead and sign up, and if you're a history buff, you will find some fantastic history type stuff by our historian Val in the museum channel. She's sinking, boys. She's gone. I've posted the history of tacos. I mean, there you go, Val. You're you're helping. You're advancing humanity with every moment. Huh? Educating us about boats from World War II and now delicacies from other countries. It's beautiful stuff. All right. Says aircraft. Show me it then. Game. Game. Show me the plane. It is rapidly incoming. Hello? Game. You suck at this game. Hello? Where's the boat? Or where's the where's the plane? Bring me the plane. Game. If you don't show me the plane, I'm gonna die. Game. What are you doing? Help. Okay. Plane's gotta be underwater. There we go. Jesus. Ooh, Sunderland, and she's making her bombing run pretty much immediately. I think we will take control. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Do we do we take control and try to shoot it down ourselves, or do we allow the ship to protect itself? What do you think? Control, 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 control it is. Here we go. Here we go. Taking control. We are using AP rounds. Um, that's actually fine. Where is the evil plane at? Where's she at? Coming right up the tailpipe here. She's gonna be coming low along the waterline. Well, to be fair, uh, the first aircraft we saw the stream, we let the AI take care of it. So, I mean, it's just our turn. The boys might get her anyway. Before I even get a chance. No. What?! <laughs> They got it. They've already shot it down. Jesus, it's I, I could I could barely see it, and they shot it down. Well, there you go. 